It's going to be a big day in the crypto space. It is 6, 11 a.m. It is Thursday, August 24th, and this is going to be the crypto market update. We're going to dive into it today. I'm seeing a lot of things, a lot of narratives shaping up, a lot of events taking place as well, too, and BRICS with the potential unveiling of the, the common currency today. Also, we got Jackson Hole tomorrow with the Fed speaking. We also have the charts at key areas, but we're, we're about to see a decision in the next seven to 10 days is what's going to decide how the rest of this year goes. So it's very important to dial in this week. So if you're new here, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a like and a comment. If you've been here, throw a star in the comments and let's get into it and join the discord link is going to be in the bio because I'm going to share an undercover gem entirely free and it just came on my radar and I, I can't believe it, but this could be huge. It's an undercover gem. I'm going to throw it in the discord for free. Link will be in the bio. Come join it. When you get in there, say what's up. It's Rob at Stargate. So let's go into it. We got the bond yield right now. 12 hour chart. We're at 4.2%. And we, we had a sell off yesterday in, in the bond yields. We do have the momentum curling over. What we need to see is that blue come up above that pink there. Oh, also too, we got a new setup now. So Stargate VIPs, if we weren't on the group session last night, and then in case you miss an announcement channel, there's a new chart template. And we got a whole lot of new things so make sure you watch the replay i'm going to post that and then in case you miss it announcements in the discord for the stargate vips new setup and, and i'm not going to sit here and explain it that'll be from the video from last night from the group session so yeah on the one day chart we're seeing the momentum roll over we're finally seeing some red come in on the macd the tsi is crossing down but this is a daily chart so we got 10 hours and 46 minutes till this candle closes. And that's why today is going to be so key and critical. And tomorrow, as far as uh, the direction going forward for next week, which will then have the monthly close. And then that will spell how September, October, November should go. But right now we're sitting at a key level. And if we pop up here, I would expect for us to get rejected around 4.44%. But right now the momentum is coming down, which is solid. Then on the three day chart, it's starting to look like it's coming down as well too. So I, I, I think we're going to cool off in the bond yields. That's my opinion, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Um, I'm seeing that the bond yields are looking like they're starting to roll over, but things can change on a dime. I mean, the charts can change with new facts coming in. And that's why it's important to get into the Discord because we keep people updated in real time in there. On the left side, we got the dollar. On the right side, we got Bitcoin. So as you notice, Bitcoin has a buy now signal that flashed on the previous candle. So the last 12 hour candle. Right now, this 12 hour candle closes in an hour and 45 minutes. And really what we're looking for is to maintain really to get above 26,500, 26,600 and close the body of a candle on the 12 hour, and even like a four hour, six hour chart. And that would really get us out of the woods here. Right now we're kind of just going, we're trying to choose that we're going to come back down and then rip up or just start going up right now. I think there's two gaps, right? This is a Bitcoin future chart. We have a gap here from 27,000 to 27,500. We have not filled it yet. I mean, we already popped up, so it's likely this will get filled first. And then we have this gap over here around 20K to 21K. It doesn't have to get filled. There's gaps, I remember back 2019 or 2018, the gap at 3,000, it never got filled. So it doesn't necessarily have to get filled, but there definitely is the possibility of that being the case. So we have to keep it on the radar. But we do have a gap here. It's more likely to get filled first because we already had a pop up in my opinion. So that's what I'm watching as far as this goes. And I'm going to start getting a little cautious though, when we get up to that level, 27,500, 27,800, because we'd already filled a gap at that point. Just like back here, we had a gap, came up, filled it, and then rolled over one more time. So that's definitely a scenario that could pan out. We have the blue moon coming up as well too. A lot of things, a lot of things. So that's a Bitcoin future chart. But if we're looking at now the dollar, it's at the 786 again. It keeps testing it. So we kept finding rejection points since August 16th at the 786 from this high down to the low here. Rejection, rejection, rejection. We're at it again. And that level is 103.58. So we need to see us get rejected here. We're waiting for that four hour chart for the dollar to roll over for this TSI to cross below that zero line. It's fighting for its life right now. It's fighting for its life. We haven't got that cross down yet. We really need to see that on the four hour chart for the dollar to have the dollar set in stone, go into a downtrend. We don't have it yet. The 12 hour chart, we are seeing the momentum come down. And then if you look at the sell signal here, the past sell signals have hit kind of the, the end of the dollar relief 
rally, sell relief rally. And we just flashed a sell 12 hours ago. So this could be the end. It's just a little pop up, kind of scare everybody in the morning before markets open up and then we could see it reverse down, bond yields reverse down and then cryptos pop up. But uh, definitely remain vigilant because there's a lot of things that could be announced and stuff that could have this spike. You know, there's a lot of things going on. So it's very important to tune in to the Discord. The link is in the bio because anything that gets announced, anything that could have an effect on the markets, I'm going to be keeping people updated in there. But yeah, so that's solid that we have the sell signal. It's solid that we have the momentum coming over on the 12 hour chart, on the one day chart. But really, the four hour chart is what's going to set in stone us go into a, a steep downtrend, which that's what crypto likes when it goes into a steep downtrend and we flip the super guppy to red. And that's what we're just waiting on. Then if we look at the stock market, the stock market flash a one day by now, we're at 15,324. We want to maintain above 15,250 to close off the daily candles going forward. And we really need to take out 15,800, 16,000 for the stock market and we're in the hot zone we're in the fib overlap zone so really getting above the fib overlap zone of 16,000 holding as support is going to be key for the stock market then if we look at the stock market against bitcoin we're still heading up here but we're you know we're at a level where we should see a rejection point and that could come just from bitcoin having a nice strong rally out of here then if we look at the total crypto market cap it got the 12 hour buy now signal if we look at the daily chart we're just waiting for that one day buy now signal on the daily chart. We haven't we haven't got it yet, but we do have the momentum starting to come up, but we got to be careful for any fake outs. So that's important to, uh, to keep an eye out for. And then the altcoin market cap, we got some long entry signals. We got the 12 hour buy now come in. If we look at the one day chart, uh, there was no 12 hour. I mean, one day prepare to buy soon. So we got the 12 hour buy now. We have the stock RSI coming up. We need to see the pink get above the blue. We have the momentum coming up. But really on the 12 hour chart, we need to get above that zero line and we're kind of far away. So we could see a bounce up, but I would expect to come back down and then we can go if we're going to bounce up right now or roll over one more time and then go up. So that's what I'm watching there. And then if we look at the three day chart, if we can get that stock RSI cross up on the three day chart, then we're golden because then I think we'd clear above 350 billion and we'd rapidly move up. So I'm watching this on the total crypto, total altcoin market cap, seeing that three day stock RSI cross up, which will pull the TSI up, get above the zero line and we're ready to kick it off. Um, and if we look at the others dominance, we're in, we're in, or the market cap for the others, we're in the hot zone. So we need to clear above here around 117 billion. Bitcoin dominance is teetering on the edge. We have that trend line. We're at it right now. We have two week prepare to sell soon signal. We have the momentum coming over. We just need something, a catalyst to have this break down. And ultimately, if we break below 48% to 47%, really below 47%, and Bitcoin's remaining stable or kind of going up slowly, not rapidly, then all coins are going to be popping off. Others dominance flash a two week buy now signal. Uh, last time we flashed two week buy now signals was only three times in uh, since 2014. Once back here in 2016, 2019, and 2019 again. And um, those were very good times to get into altcoins, right? So we just flashed it uh, three days ago. Then if we look at, yep, this is a Bitcoin future chart. If we look at Bitcoin right now, yep, 12 hour chart, we just covered that. We want to see that momentum cross up. We want to see this candle. Oh, this is, yeah, so this is Bitcoin. Actually, the buy now signal is flashing right now. So we need to maintain above 26,400 at the very least in the next hour and 40 minutes. So at 8, 8 a.m. Uh, New York time, Eastern Standard Time, we need to see this, have that buy now signal flash. Last time we had that after a, a big dip, we went sideways for like a day or two, and then we ripped up over the weekend. So we'll see if that could be the case right now. That If we could go sideways and then all coins can kind of start to uh, hop up, that will give us a telltale sign that Bitcoin may be uh, just lagging behind the all coins. So that will be the telltale sign. If the all coins are popping up, um, Bitcoin just going sideways like that, then it's gearing up for a move like that. If we look at XRP, and we go to the three day chart, XRP is super close to a massive move, but we need to hold 50 cents, 49 cents, there's a line in the sand, but really 50 cents. And honestly, I, I don't even want to see us break below 51 and a half cents. We're, look at the three day chart, right? So if I pull this up, you know, best times to sell, best times to sell, best times to buy, right? We're right here. How long do these usually last? 
they last, you know, when we get down here, 18 days. This one, 18, 15, 18 days. This one, 15 days. This one has been 12, uh, no, nine days. So next week, the next seven days, we're going to have another opportunity to strike big. I, I, I'll never forget the feeling of hitting that big levy long uh, on the XRP pump, immense pump with the SEC law. I can't believe that. That was the best feeling for the Stargate VIPs that hit that back in July. I'm sure you'll never forget that feeling as well, too. Let me know in the comments if you hit that, because I, I think about it all the time. And we're sitting at another moment where we could have an opportunity to do it again. And this time it's going to be even more immense because we pumped up big, we came back down, we have hidden bullish divergence, we cooled off in our indicators, but we're making a higher low. So we have another opportunity. I'm looking to strike on that. I'm ready to hit it again and dial in on this. So if you're looking to dial in and hit a big levy long, like we did back on XRP in July, then join the Discord, ask for Rob at Stargate, ask how you can get into VIP before this happens. You wanna do it before when it's the calm before the storm. You don't want to get in and try to do it when, when it's the storm because it ain't going to happen. So get in the Discord, ask how you can get VIP. It's Rob at Stargate. So that's good for XRP, XLM, two-day chart. It's hanging on some key support right now. If you look at that, yep. So key support is that 50 moving average around 11 and a half cents. And then we have this trend line coming down where XLM is, you know, at a moment where it could have another pop, another opportunity like XRP. Really, it's just getting above 13 cents. And then if we can get above 0.138, then we're good to go and send it up. And then H bar as well, too. I think if we break above seven cents, then we're going to quickly and rapidly go up to around, I think it was like 12 cents. Let me pull it up. Yeah. If we can get above seven cents, I think we're going to rapidly go up to 12 to 13 cents. And I can tell you when this breakout would likely happen or the latest by the middle of September, because we're going to coil up here. So if we remain in this uptrend and we coil up, then by the end, middle of September, it's got to make a move. But if we break down, we break below here, then then it's uh, negated. So I'm watching HBAR like a hawk. XRP, XLM, HBAR, I'm watching like a hawk to hit big. And then XDC, put it on the radar. I feel like there's going to be a big move out of XDC pretty soon here. It's cooled off a lot. I, I think I want to hit a pair-to-pair -pair trade, like an XRP to XDC or another coin to XDC because there's some big opportunity here, even getting back to where it was, and it goes quick, it's 40%. We can make 40% more XRP. If XRP is gonna chill for five days, but XCC is gonna pull a 40 percenter, we might as well capitalize on that. So that's what I'm seeing today, guys, is, you know, the markets hasn't opened up yet. It's still 6.25 a.m., so things could change rather quickly, but you guys know what to watch. I mean, how many, I've been saying it for months now. It's almost been a year. It's almost been a year. So hope that helps. I will see you guys in the Discord link in the bio. And um, if you want to get VIP, Rob at Stargate, join the Discord, ask for me, send me a firm request. We'll get you kitted up, suited up with all these new tools we got. And then there was one other thing. Oh yeah, the undercover gem, the, the coin that I found earlier while I was at the gym. I'm going to send that in the Discord. So if you want to know what that is, link in the bio, join the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next video.